Ah, just Nathan, like your favorite arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Deadpool by Stern Pinball today. Please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Uh, all of our metrics will be under there, as well as click and subscribe to YouTube right now. If you like arcade, if you like pinball in general, that's the format that we follow. Join our family. Please follow us on Arcade and Pinball Talk Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, and let's just go ahead and get this review like started, shall we? First impressions of the table is Deadpool, for God's sake. Fun stuff. Choose your battle. The battle saber tooth here. Battle. I'm gonna enjoy cutting you open again, again One thing I like about this this play field is it has a ton of shots on it. Pretty decent flow, although it's real tied up the middle. And again, this is a route machine, so we're on location shooting this to the best of our ability with the equipment that we have. Lighting is a little bit lower in this area of the arcade, but uh, and we also have a cooling fan above us, which is typical for arcade rims, especially with pinball machines in them. Sweet. Graphics are there. It looks good on Deadpool. Back glass is awesome. Soundtrack is there. Sound bites are there. Theme, of course, is Deadpool. So if you like Deadpool, you're gonna like this. Or if you like Marvel in general, you will love this table. This is our second video of Deadpool. Our first video is when we first started out, and uh, it was very noisy, so we're redoing it. Uh, that said, flipper gap's not too bad on this machine. Uh, table mechanics are in lane left right, out lane left right. Shots, uh, your targets say dead to the left. Team up, you got basically an area where it's a orbit that goes around and or could drop out to the columns. That's right there with the spinner, it says team up. You have a ramp to the right of that, that habit trails on a Y form back to your end lane on the left side. You have another shot that goes right up underneath there, uh, under that, that area and it scoops, kind of like does a little loop-de coming back around towards the ramp with the rollover back there. You have a scoop to the right of that. You also have a ramp that goes up that, that's got to come out uh, to the right side of your inline. So in other words, you hit that ramp where Colossus is, wire form through the katana, exits right in line. You have a bunch of pop bumpers by Wolverine, columns to the back of there. Uh, in the center of the table, you have Deadpool. You have an area where you have some drop targets. Uh, you have a target to the back of that, and of course those targets will pop up and lock that ball in there. To the right of that, you have a lock area, which if you go up that, that little railing system, it allows you to the right of Deadpool to go up that left back ramp to have a trail to your in-lane to the right. And of course, then you have your lane uh, going around the, the table from there, which is your partial orbit. All in all, a great setup. Playfield to the front of the table is, is wide open. And of course, you got a lot of the shots to the back. And I think that the layout is definitely there. I would say the only complaint that I would say most people would say is the shots are really tight to the middle. That'd be the only thing that I would say, but also I'm not against that because that adds the difficulty factor. I personally would rather have a higher difficulty table to play so that way I can max out my money by having a game I can play for a longer period of time than not, being truthfully honest. That's my opinion, of course. Uh, artwork on this table is fantastic. Everything's there, replayability, fun factor, all there. This is absolutely an over nine table for sure. Uh, anyway, again, as we said, our reviews, if you're watching desktop right now, click the show more underneath the video, you'll find our written metrics underneath there. Uh, there's a triangle on mobile under the headline. You can either click the headline or click the little triangle and the metrics will drop down from there. Uh, other than that, thank you again for watching today. We truly appreciate it and we look forward to our next video with you guys.